Alrighty, so, with update 13 comes the newest addition to our ever-growing Tenno army, and that is, of course, Hydroid. He's the water-based, uh, water-themed Warframe that has just been added. He does look a little bit like Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, or Dr. Zoidberg, Dr. John Zoidberg. So, this is more of a first impression video, as he's only out a day or a little over a day, and it's hard to get a good feel for him in such a short time span. So, I will quickly just go through what his abilities are, all four of them, and I'll let you know what I think of him up until now after that. So his first ability is called Tempest Barrage which basically is a barrage of liquid fury, more like a mild drizzle of rain being honest with you. It's, it's his first skill so it's bound to be just okay uh, damage wise, it's not going to be overpowered as hell. His second ability is called Tidal Surge where Hydride will charge forward on a wave and knock down all enemies in his path and he can kill them as well if they are weak enough. His third ability is called Undertow or aka the Puddle of Doom where he basically becomes a large puddle that can be increased with a stretch mod as well and uh, the duration of it can be increased as well with a continuity mod or duration mod and any enemy who steps inside this puddle will fall down inside of it and begin to drown. The mine at the minute is ticking for about 36 to 64 damage uh, over time, I think it's every second for every enemy that's in it and it lasts for about 38 to 40 seconds with a continuity mod on, a max out continuity mod on. Now I can see this being really good on infested missions whether it's mobile defense or stack defense. I can see just sit there for 40 seconds when the wave starts and just let them all run in and, 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 uh, and die in it. Not sure what way it's going to be with really high level. I can imagine it being pretty useless probably. And his final ability and his ultimate is called Tentacle Swarm where Hydride will summon a creature from the depths to slap and tickle all enemies inside his radius. It's just a load of tentacles that pick up enemies and throw them around. It kind of looks a bit weird when you first see it, depending on what colour you have them, I guess. It is pretty powerful, but I have had enemies just walk right through it, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's got a, a limit to the amount of enemies it can pick up a bit, like Vauban's Bastille. I'll need to test it a bit more to see. I'm not 100% sure of it yet. It does a lot of damage, like I said. It can pretty much clear a room. So as you can see from his powers, Hydride is a pure damage dealing frame with no real squad utility as such. So he's a bit like Ash or Saren where all of his abilities are all damage dealing. Now if you want to farm his parts, they do drop off the new Vehek encounter. So you do need to kill Vehek a few times to get his blueprints. And to get to Vehek, you do need to collect the beacons that drop off prosecutors on the... I was going to say prostitutes there. <laughs> on the shipyard missions on Ceres and build your Vehek key. So having Necros in your group may be a, a really good way to get an increased beacon amount from all of these prosecutors because they can do desecrate and you might be lucky and get a few more. So yesterday I ran a lot of Sarahs, probably like a lot of you guys, to farm the beacons for the Vehek fight and I was in groups with lots of Novas, Rhinos, Oberons and Mags and I'll be honest with Hydrite, I couldn't help but feel a little underpowered a lot of the time while using him. Like I said, his Tentacle Swarm is amazing when you're in a condensed area or a mission type which is really small corridors and can throw about some serious damage. But apart from that, his other abilities I'm just not 100% sure of yet. Tidal Surge is, like I said, a great oh shit get out, get out of trouble button. The Undertow, like I said, mine ticks for 36 to 64 damage over time on enemies under the water which means more often than not on the higher levels when the puddle runs out of time and enemies are still alive, they are pretty damn pissed at me. And uh, as you can see in the footage, I think I go down maybe once or twice. But I don't know, maybe I felt underpowered simply because I was using the Attica crossbow, which is also new. Which really isn't my kind of weapon. I did not enjoy it at all. I prefer my rifles or things that blow shit up. Or even the Paris Prime. I'm a lot better with the Paris Prime and I really like it. This thing just feels like it's really slow and clunky. It's, it's fire rate is really, really slow. But I will have a video up of that later. But anyway, my first impressions are that Hydroid is... He's a fun frame with some nice damage, but... That's about it for me. I'll have to do a video in a few weeks time of maybe him farming a few times if I get the time. As far as I can see he's just another Warframe. He's nothing really to get excited about at the minute. But of course this could change in a hotfix or a patch and he could become overpowered as hell. Time will tell. Maybe you guys absolutely love him whereas I just think he's normal. But of course this is my opinion and everyone is entitled to their own. But let me know in the comment section below if you have got Hydroid. Are you looking forward to building them or do you not really give a damn? Then by all means, like I said, leave a comment, hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video, and if you haven't subscribed already, then subscribe for more Warframe content. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Sprinkle us with wisdom from your mighty brain. How scared should we be? He is somewhere between not at all and entire. I fall entire. <laughs>